So, you want to know how to link a bunch of objects, materials, together. Well, they have a dating website for that, but it's not the best. Kind of shady sometimes. Hey guys, welcome back to Touched by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back once again. And we're taking a look at how to link multiple different materials together. I've done this in many different tutorials. I figured it's about time that I actually showed you what I was doing in a proper, in a proper video. So, let's say you have a bunch of objects like this, as you can see. Let's go into object shading. Let's go into render viewport shading, sorry. Let me add a, a point lamp back in. You can see all of these objects are, um, are solid white. Let's say I want to make this one blue. So, let's go ahead and drop this down uh, and then make this like a blue color, right? So, I want to make, make this blue. But, oh, shoot. I want to make all these things blue. But, I don't want to come in here and just hit all of these materials like this. That's going to take forever. Well, have I got the solution for you. You're going to go ahead and do this. So you're going to drag a box over top of all the objects you want to be blue. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and hold down shift and select one of the blue objects. So it doesn't matter which one, just hold down shift and select one of the blue objects. Now we're going to go ahead and hit control L to make a link to not only other than the materials. As you can see, once I click materials, it will then change every single material uh, that was selected to that blue color. Now, if I change the blue color, as you can see, it will change to any color we change it to, which is very, very useful. You can use the same exact technique for not only um, materials, but you can also use it for modifiers and other things like this. So if I were to add a modifier to this cube right here, we go ahead and add a modifier, which is subdivision surface. Now I want them all to be spheres. Uh, drag a box over top of everything, hold down shift, make sure the last thing you selected is the one with the modifier, hit control L, and then go ahead and go to uh, make links to modifiers. And as you can see, everything is now a circle. Very, very cool. Hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed today's little quick tutorial, a little quick tip of uh, quality of life. I love these kind of quality of life tutorials. I will see you ladies and gentlemen in the next one, but until then, bye-bye.